start off by tying the standard traditional nail knot. Placing the tool in the palm of either hand, the thumb pad is quite important. Run the tapered leader over the thumb pad and through the guides. Securing the line with your thumb, drop the line in between the forks of the tool, wrap tightly back towards your thumb, and hold the wrap securely with your forefinger. Bring the line back through the coils and pull it up snug. Now insert the fly line in the tip of the tool, only about a half inch or so. Now we're going to transfer the knot onto the fly line. It's important to grasp the monofilament on the thumb pad and give a firm, secure snap. This transfers the knot onto the fly line. Always inspect the knot, then pull firmly to seat the knot. Once that's done, then trim very close to the knot. This completes your standard nail knot. The harder you pull on this knot, the tighter the coils get. Now we will tie a nail knot splice. This is similar to the blood knot, but is two nail knots back to back. Take your two materials, cross them over, and you want about four inches on each side. The X represents the center point. Take that center point and place it under the thumb pad. Take the short tag in and repeat the same nail knot. This time we only use three wraps to keep the knot small. Wrap back towards your thumb, grab the leader, push it back through the coils, and snap it off firmly. Now we're going to rotate this 180 degrees, put it back in the tool with the knot right behind the thumb pad. Secure the line on the thumb pad, Again, take the short tag in and wrap three neat coils back towards your thumb. Go back through all the coils you've created, pull it snug and snap it firmly. Now, pull the two main lines together and this completes your nail knot splice. Very strong, much stronger than a blood knot. Now that we've tied the nail knot and the nail knot splice, we are going to tie on a fly using the same nail knot process. Take the end of the leader and as usual run it through the fly and double the line back. Take the fly and attach it to the back of the tool. Again, over the thumb pad, through the tips, secure the line with your thumb Take the tag in and tie the exact same knot. Wrap a neat coil four to five turns back towards your thumb and then run the line through the coils you've created. Again, a sharp pull. Leaving the fly in the tool, slide the knot back and this creates a nail knot to tie on the fly. Once you've secured the knot, trim it closely and now you've completed the process. We're now going to tie a shank tie or a snell. Thread the line through the hook eye, place in center of tool over the thumb pad, secure with your thumb. Drop the line in the tool and wrap neatly back towards your thumb four to five turns. Hold the coils with the tip of your finger and feed the line back through the coils you've created. With a firm snap, snap off the knot onto the hook and then slide into place. Trim closely. Now we're going to tie the same nail knot attaching a lure or a swivel. Thread the line through the swivel, double the line back. Place in the tip of the tool, letting the lure hang off the back. Tie the exact same nail knot, wrapping a neat coil back towards your thumb, feed the line through the coils, and snap the knot off the end of the tool, and then slide it down to the eye. Pull snug, then trim closely. 